Welcome to Angling Buzz presented by Fleet Farm. I'm Troy Linder. On today's show, we're talking about big fish patterns. Now there's a seasonal window when big fish are just far easier to catch. During the springtime, many fish are getting ready to spawn. They're actively feeding, for instance, bass and panfish. They're in shallow water, they're big, and they're hungry. This is great news. But also, you have to be on big fish lakes, and not all lakes hold big fish. Today's show, we're joined by Jeremy Smith. He's gonna share some big fish pattern info with us that'll hopefully help you put some more whopper fish in the boat this season. Jeremy, have you been out on the water recently? Hey, thanks, Troy. Yeah, I have been on the water quite a bit lately because this is one of my favorite times of year to fish. The fish are shallow and they're aggressive. And the thing is, I keep presentations really simple this time of year. I've been fishing a lot of walleye and smallmouth bass lately. And my go-to bait when I'm fishing lakes that have that combination of fish is a suspending jerk bait. This happens to be the Rapala x rap my all-time favorite shallow water spring bait. The whole key with this bait is to play with the retrieve. How long you're pausing the bait and how much action you're imparting into it. The fish will tell you what they want. This is absolutely a killer and it produces usually my biggest smallmouth of the year. Come on this bait. The other presentation you can't go wrong with. It's been uh, one of my favorites in the last few years. It's really been a renaissance in fishing is the hair jig, the original dressing, the bucktail jig. Same thing with this, it's a really simple presentation to fish. You can cast it out, count it down to depth, and slowly swim it back, giving the rod a couple jerks here and there and just making the bait swim ever so subtly. Or if you're really specifically targeting walleye, snap jigging it, making contact with the bottom is absolutely deadly. This little moon tail right here catches everything. Largemouth, crappie, walleye, smallmouth, you name it, deadly. Gotta have that on the boat. And then lastly, the other stick I've got on the boat is a swim bait. You cannot go wrong with this. Cast it out, reel it in, jig it, work it however you want. This thing, again, will catch just about everything that swims. With these three rods on the deck right now, I've been catching tons of everything and gotten into some really nice fish. Now, weather can really affect the bite for a lot of different species. Over the past couple of weeks, you know, we've had some pretty erratic weather. Yeah, weather is absolutely the most important factor this time of year, but I'll also say that cover is king. Let's look at panfish, for example, right now. In these warm, sunny days, you see panfish making movements into shallow water, and they're relating to hard stem bulrush, lily pad fields. They're looking for that shallow cover. Now, when you get those gray, windy, cooler days, you see the fish tend to move out into the first cover that's in that four to 10 feet of water. It could be old cabbage standing coontail from the year before, but the fish really are relating to cover and they're quite concentrated. Now, presentation is pretty simple this time of year. I don't think that you can beat just something like a jig and a bobber right now. A 32nd ounce jig, 16th ounce jig under a cork is absolutely dynamite. Now, if I was crappie fishing, I'd be using hair jigs or plastics. That's really all you need. But if you're looking for bluegills, I definitely recommend packing some bait in the boat, whether it's wax worms, night crawlers, or even panfish leeches. Well, walleye season opened up here in Minnesota. There's still a lot of good shallow water fishing going on. Now, how about big walleyes? What a great time of year to catch big walleyes. The fish are still shallow, so there are a number of ways to catch them. The jig and minnow combo is pretty darn tough to beat, but I fish a lot with hair jigs and Jigs with soft plastics in that minnow profile, rip jigging this time of year. So it's just a matter of snapping the bait uh, off the bottom, letting it make contact, boom, boom, boom. You're just working pretty aggressively. And this is the great time of year to do it when the fish are less than 12 feet. The other technique you can't forget about is the crankbait. Shad wraps account for a lot of fish, especially when they're in the depths that they are now. And lastly, some of the biggest fish in the spring are caught flat line trolling at twilight and after dark. If you want to get a big walleye right now, don't be afraid to go out when the moon's up. Yeah, no question about it. It's a great time to be out on the water. And it is important to make those small adjustments throughout the day, depending on the behavior of the fish and the current weather conditions. Well, Jeremy, thank you for your time and sharing some insight. And stay with us after the short commercial break. We have more angling buzz.
Looking for the perfect fishing vacation? Leech Lake, Minnesota. There's over 112,000 acres of water to explore with fantastic walleye, bass, pike, panfish, and trophy muskies. The fishing opportunities are endless. Leech Lake has it all with over 30 resorts, lodges, campgrounds, and hotels line its pristine shores. Plan your trip. It's Minnesota's original up north vacation destination. In 2020, Minnesota watercraft inspectors found that 97% of boaters were doing their best to prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species. In short, drain plugs were removed, no standing water was inside the boat, and no zebra mussels or plants were found on the boat or trailer. Thanks for following these simple habit-forming rules. Clean aquatic plants and animals from boats, trailers, and equipment. Drain all water from motors and live wells. Remove all boat plugs and dispose of unused bait in the trash. Customer first, that's their mission at Dondelinger Auto. It's not just about the sale, it's about giving you peace of mind for as long as you own that vehicle. Dondelinger is home to the lifetime powertrain warranty for new and pre-owned vehicles, plus 10 years of roadside assistance. They have an incredible variety of the most popular vehicles and offer pickup and drop off for service. Stop in to experience the Dondelinger difference today. Welcome back to Angling Buzz. Right now we have our highlight destination feature. We're going to a fish factory, big walleye, big bass, big muskie. This is Lake Vermilion. We've been out here about 10 minutes and I missed three in a row. And then this guy hit it. Nice, chunky, healthy fish. I'm fishing on one of my favorite lakes in Minnesota. Uh, it's Lake Vermilion, and I'm fishing with one of my favorite buddies up here who's guided up here for years, Billy Rosner. We fish together every year, and uh, uh, we've done a number of television shows up here. And uh, not only me, but Jimmy's been up here, Jeremy's been up here. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I sampled this lake 47, 48 years ago, and I've been back to it ever since. It's an amazing body of water. And Billy said, hey, Ada, walleyes are going pretty good. Why don't you come on up, yeah, yeah, you know, and, and we'll have a good time for a couple days, jerk some jaws. That's what we're doing. Another nice fish. I mean, it, it is an amazing, <laughs> an amazing, amazing bait for eyeballs like this. And we're on an amazing lake to put it to its we test, are, yeah. huh? Yeah, they're uh, okay. they're after it today, man. Boy, that's nice fish. Beautiful. All day long, all day long. You know what I'd like to do for a minute? You and I have always shared a lot of a lot of things about our industry, our time together, some of our personal experiences in life. I think you need to tell the people a little bit about your background. You are the only person I know, and I fished with a lot of guides in a lot of different places, that is how many generations? 100 years ago, my great-grandfather Sylvester Kasky built the first resort up on Lac Vitas Air in northern Wisconsin. This is the 100th year, and the, so to speak, the last of the Mohicans carrying the torch for the family guiding, and uh, it's just, it's been a long run, and uh, you know, four generations, and a lot of my uncles, great uncles, all owned resorts and, and guided. My dad did, and he got into the mink and fox business. So my older brother, Mike, started guiding and kind of took me under his wing and showed me the ropes. And uh, fishing, what really gets me is, uh, humbles me is fishing, you know, during the Great Depression or when the economy's down. And like this year, we got this weird stuff going on, how it brings people together and uh, it truly does. And uh, people still go fishing no matter what the crisis is and it just brings people and families together. Billy, Vermilion is such a diverse fishery. You've got basically, you got a west end, you got an east end, and you got the center of the lake. Tell us a little bit, somebody planning to come up here for any kind of fish, how does it shake out? You know, in, in my opinion and experience for many years of guiding up here, you know, if you want to catch a big trophy walleye, you know, I'd pick the west end of the lake. If you want to 
catch muskies and numbers of them, I'd pick the far east side of the lake. If you're looking for your smaller age class walleyes, that central basin area in Big Bay, that's where I'd focus on, you know, if you really wanted the numbers of walleyes. And, uh, you know, this west end has more weeds, more fertile soft bays. If you want to focus on smallmouth, uh, the east end is a little better for smallies with all your rock reefs and, and that, that sort of stuff. So, you know, you got a little bit of everything for everybody. You want to want to enjoy a trip of a lifetime up here on one of the greatest lakes that I've ever fished over the years. If you're looking to plan a trip up here on Lake Vermilion area, check out Lake Vermilion Resort Association .com. There's tons of places to stay up here, all different things to do. So if you're looking to make a trip up north here in northern Minnesota, check it out. Lake Vermilion is a big fish factory. Last time I was there, got into some great walleye. Also, snap jigging for walleye hooked into probably the biggest muskie of my life. It actually came up, jumped and threw the jig, but that was still very exciting for sure. Well, stay with us after this commercial break. We have our Buzz Bite reports. to save even more at Fleet Farm? Well, now you can with Fleet Rewards. It's free to sign up and there's no credit card required. Using Fleet Rewards is easy. Earn points every time you shop. Plus, get exclusive member offers, birthday and anniversary perks, free tire rotations, and more. Download the Fleet Farm app or create an account at fleetfarm.com rewards to start earning points today. Fleet Farm, proudly serving the Midwest since 1955. Like many of you, I've had back issues. From the pounding waves of Lake Erie. To over 30 years of competitive angling. And a lifetime on the water, but not anymore. Smooth moves change the game. It's a must have for me and my clients. It's like my boat is floating on air. They're easy to install. Fully adjustable. It makes a day on the water a whole lot more comfortable. Smooth your ride with smooth moves. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Rain Gear. Utilizing patented Event technology, this advanced membrane allows body heat and vapors to escape while offering 100% waterproof protection with an exceptional combination of waterproof and breathability ratings. Blackfish Rain Gear keeps you dry all day. Whether on the tournament trail or chasing weekend walleyes, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. Lake Vermilion. Explore. Relax. Reconnect. Minnesota's most beautiful lake. Oh. Get hooked on our trophy wallet. That's a beauty. Bass. This is my favorite fish. Musky fish. That's a beauty there. Things to do, you'll never get bored. Rooms with a view, we got them. Lake Vermilion. Four seasons of fun. Welcome back to Angling Buzz. It's time for this week's Buzz Bite Reports. To kick it off, we're gonna join Jason Mitchell out in the Dakotas. You know, Lake Oahe is where we just fished and the fish are still in shallow water. Shallow being anywhere from say 14 to seven feet of water. And the secondary points and the primary points at the bowels of the bay seem to be where we caught most of the fish. Now we didn't catch any big fish, which I guess is pretty typical when, you're, when you are working around the spawn, you're fishing those hard bottom rock gravel areas where you're, where you're catching a lot of males. But uh, you know, we were just out there just to get, you know, just to catch fish and to feel a rod bend. And so jigging a minnow is definitely the program, you know, keeping the boat in 15 feet of water and then pitching up. And then we were also dragging jigs and catching fish that way, but uh, definitely, you know, a place right now where you just go and catch a lot of fish. Devil's Lake has been hit and miss. You know, water temperatures are still low. Program on Devil's Lake is getting the back ends of the bays. If you can find some type of rock or gravel shoreline and don't overlook the shoreline fishing opportunities. I mean, some of the nicest fish on Devil's Lake right now are getting caught from shore. On a lot of these river systems, you know, small rivers, especially causeways, culverts, anywhere where there's some moving water or current, a lot of the best fishing right now is happening from shore, and so you don't need a lot of equipment right now to catch some really nice fish. 
Thanks, Jason. Now let's travel north to Lake Vermilion with Billy Rosner. This past weekend, we pretty much caught walleyes four different ways. I caught them on jigs and minnows, I caught them on live bait rigs, I caught them on slip bobbers, I also caught them on plastics. This little 360, four and a half inch paddle tail here was the key for me in areas with this early ice out this year. We got a little better weed growth than you would think in some areas. They did very well on this swim bait. Also, I really didn't get hung up on a depth. I found fish everywhere from four feet to 32 feet. And the key for me in a lot of those fish was my electronics. I'd mark some fish, I'd throw spot lock down, I would jig them or slip bobber them, I'd get two, three fish, and I don't know if I spooked them or what, and then I'd have to move on from there. So I just kind of kept moving, trusted my electronics, and it helped me put fish in the boat all weekend long. Thanks, Billy. Next, let's head over to Leech Lake with Jason Freed in Leisure Outdoors. Walleye season is upon us, which means two things when you want to walleye fish on Leech Lake. Fish the wind and find the bait. With the shiner spawn happening, those shiners are going to be moving in and out depending on the weather. So therefore, some days you're going to be fishing in four to five to six feet of water, some days out in 10 to 13 feet of water. It just really depends on what the wind is doing and where the shiner's at. With that being said, it's a jig and minnow bite, eighth ounce jig, quarter ounce jig, depending on how deep, long drifts, long passes. Pay attention to your jiggy kids. Sometimes that's the key to catching more walleyes. But it's, it's very simple right now. Sometimes linear rig leech can also produce, but a jig in the middle is going to be your number one priority. Look for crappies in the dark bottom bays, places like Boy Bay, Headquarters Bay, and, some, and many of the other bays that are out throughout Leech Lake. Uh, a, a cork uh, with a crappie min or a plastic is going to be probably the best ticket for that. But right now, it's Leech Lake. Walleyes are the name of the game. Get out, give it a try, and we'll see you up there. Now let's head east to Sturgeon Bay with Doug Wagner. The bass season here is just getting warmed up, just getting started. There's actually some of the big up and coming bass tournaments starting this weekend. We're fishing right now, water temps, I think are like 48 degrees. Warm water has been a super uh, important deal, but we've got an absolute giant bass caught my PB. This thing is 23 inches long, has an 18 inch girth, is seven pounds, eight ounces. <laughs> absolute giant fish. This is the fish that people dream of when they come to Sturgeon Bay. But caught on a marabou jig, fishing some sand strips. Amazing fish. This is just the beginning of it. Fishing's only gonna get better here for the next few weeks. If you guys are looking to get over to Sturgeon Bay and do some bass fishing, it's a great time. Man, it's awesome to catch a PB Smalley. Congrats, Doug. Now let's see how things are heating up with Jeff Evans in Wisconsin. There are just a ton of excellent fishing opportunities right now in northern Wisconsin. If you're fishing the inland lakes in the Hayward area, water temperatures have warmed from the low to mid 50s. The post-spawn walleye bite's been really good. We're still finding quite a few fish shallow in like five feet of water. Uh, most of the fish we're catching are out in that uh, 12 to 15 foot range. Uh, the jig and middle bite has been good. Also ripping uh, plastics like paddle tails on a heavy jig head has also been working well. Uh, crappies are moving into shallow bays. Uh, five to 10 feet of water is where we're finding most of those fish right now on a pre-spawn bite. And the pre-spawn smallmouth bite is still going good. We'll probably get another couple of weeks out of that before they start showing up on nests. On Lake Superior and Schwamigan Bay, the water is still pretty cool. I was out there the other day and it was about 47 degrees. Uh, the trout and salmon bite is very good. Uh, we're finding those fish in less than 10 feet of water, trolling shallow running uh, stick baits and crankbaits. I uh, hope you guys all have a great weekend and you're able to get out in the water and catch a bunch of fish. Doing this. Oh, yeah. Get a can of this and spend more time doing this. Yeah. Whoa. Marine Pro Fuel Treatment helps marine engines start easier, run smoother, and last longer. Seafoam! Marine Pro, new from the makers of Seafoam. Marine Pro is a complete marine fuel system treatment. Just pour it in. Fast starts and smooth running power have never been this easy. Available now at Fleet Farms. Simple, fast, and easy. This automatic launching and loading system on BoatToTrailer.com makes unloading and loading your boat a breeze on both roller or bunk trailer configurations. This system is a simple one-bolt install. 
No more hanging over the boat, no more cranking in the boat, and no more wet feet. Speed your boat ramp time by visiting BoatToTrailer.com. Northland tackles in the premium hard bait game with the Rumble Crankbait Series. Available in 15 custom artisan colors. All Northland Rumble Series baits are handmade with a unique heat compression molding process that ensures unmatched durability and baits that run true on the troll and cast farther than the competition. You'll discover that walleyes and other species find their unique role in actions simply irresistible. You're gonna wanna up your game with these new cranks. Fishing is definitely better with balsa. And now it's time for our cool products brought to you by Fleet Farm. Today we're talking about big fish patterns. We're going to start out with a big lure from Musky Mayhem Tackle. This is the 79 trigger. The 7 and the 9 are relative to the blade sizes on there. They have a lot of great color combinations. You can never go wrong with black and orange for musky. This can be great trolled and cast. Uh, musky Mayhem makes a whole lot of great lures. Uh, you can go to your local Fleet Farm store or online to see even more. And now more blade baits, this time for largemouth bass. The chatterbait from Z-Man. And this has kind of exploded the whole bladed jig category with this bait, the original size uh, for the chatterbait. Nice hook on here that you can put a, a big piece like a, like a fluke, a swim bait on there. You can fish this through weeds cover. It's very weedless. It's a fantastic bait, a lot of vibration to trigger big fish to bite. And from Terminator, the Pro Series Spinner Bait, and I've used this a lot. This thing came out last year, and I've been uh, and I had some great success with it as a nice VMC hook, a really good keeper system if you're putting soft plastics on there. And the wire is strong and sensitive, so you can get really good vibration. But it's also a very strong spinner bait that you can really fish hard against cover and structure. And they have a lot of combinations of blades and skirt sizes and head colors on here. This is from Terminator, the Pro Series Spinner Bait. And many times, big fish will hit a small bait, as is the case with Northland Tackles, Fireball, Stinging Jigs. This is uh, perfect for all the live bait fishermen out there. Short shank jig, a wide gap on it that's great for uh, putting on big minnows, leeches, crawlers on there. You also have an eyelet on the bottom to put on a stinger hook as well. This is essential for any live bait fisherman, the Fireball, Stinging Jig from Northland Tackle. And for crankbaits, a couple different crankbaits here. The first one, for bass, this is the Rapala OG Series Slim 6. The OG means Ots Garage, uh, famed tournament champion. Ott Defoe helped design this bait. As you can see, this is a flat-sided crankbait made of balsa. It's silent. It has a circuit board lip that really helps defect, deflect off cover. And you have two really good hybrid VMC hooks that help keep fish pinned. This is the Rapala OG Series Slim 6. And moving up in size for crankbaits, this is the Rumble Monster from Northland Fishing Tackle. It has a locking lip feature on the front. This is great for trolling to make sure this thing runs nice and true. And uh, for musky and pike, especially musky, they like a small bait like this many times throughout the season. They don't want something big. They want something small. They want something compact with a lot of action on it. And this will do just that. This is the five inch bait. And this is in the Rumble series from Northland Tackle. And this is the Rumble Monster. Well, staying cool and comfortable out this season is very important. Blackfish has you covered. This is the Blackfish Cool Charge UPF. This has a UPF rating of 30. It has four-way stretch. It's a nice, comfortable hoodie for the cool days and also the really hot days. Blackfish has a full apparel line, and this is a really nice addition for that. And next from Daiwa, this is the Tatula 300 XS. I've used the Tatula line a lot. The smaller reel, spinning and bait casting, but this is the bigger one. This is their new 300 XS. It has the T-wing system at the front, which is really great for helping guide line off your reel and back onto the reel. A great drag system on here. This is nice, compact size, especially when you're throwing big baits all day. You're throwing heavy line, big diameter line. Uh, this can hold a lot, a lot of that. And then also big grip on here as well in an 8.1 gear ratio to be able to pick up line fast when you're fishing for big fish and you make a long cast and you set the hook, you want to be able to drive those hooks in and that 8.1 gear ratio really helps with that. This is the Tatula 300 XS from Daiwa. And moving on to fishing rods, the Bass X series from St. Croix. It's just a great series for both value and performance. I have a, a couple of these Bass X 
bait casters and they're great for bass fishing. This particular one's a seven foot and one inch medium heavy, a good all around rod for spinner baits, bladed jigs, big crankbaits, you know, flipping big jigs, flipping into cover, swim baits, umbrella rigs, just a great series from St. Croix. This is the Bass X. And for trolling, probably the most well-known planer board is from Offshore Tackle. In some of the states across the upper Midwest, you can run multiple lines and really get a nice spread of your baits. And a lot of times getting your bait out farther away from the boat is key for triggering fish to bite. Offshore Tackle makes boards all the way for panfish and really big boards for musky. They're great design, great clips, high quality boards from Offshore Tackle. All these products are available online at fleetfarm.com. You can also get them in your Fleet Farm store locally. Well, up next, it's time for our Technique of the Week. So targeting big fish, I get that question a lot. You know, what do you do to specifically target big fish? And that, that answer is pretty simple. Um, if you're in a, a tournament and you're on a rig bite, Quite simply, I go get big chubs, big minnows, and I rig key points, big fish areas with large minnows. I'm talking eight, nine inch chubs, suckers, that type of thing. That's a great way to target big fish is rigging big minnows. And that works from Shield Lakes to Canada, all the way down to Iowa. I mean, it just works literally all over the country. Now, if you're on a trolling bite, big baits, big fish, loud baits, big fish. I mean, there's times when we're actually trolling uh, number eight uh, rip and wraps on lead core. And that's been a great big fish bait for us. So trolling bites, use bigger baits. On rig bites, use bigger minnows. And then for spinners, quite simply, use those Erie blades, those large size Erie blades, you know, those size six, size seven, size eight blades rigged on the same colors you were using to catch those slot fish. And Nine times out of 10, you're gonna get those bigger fish to bite because those smaller fish are gonna pass on that profile of a spinner. So keep those three things in mind when you wanna target bigger fish. I've been successful doing that on guide fish and in tournaments, so I guarantee you it'll work for you too. Well, that's some great information from Brad Hawthorne, and you can see even more videos from Brad and other anglers at anglingbuzz.com. On next week's episode, we're gonna be talking about live bait mastery. And as always here at The Buzz, we want to help remind you to stop the spread of aquatic invasive species anytime you're leaving any body of water. Remember, clean, drain, dry. Well, thank you for joining us this week. I'm Troy Linder, and we'll see you next time.